Hello and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called FTP Port State. By default, when a switch is connected to a device, the switch uses spanning tree to verify that the new connection will not lead to switching loops. By putting this interface port into blocking, listening, learning, and forward states. This normally takes around 30 or 50 seconds in which the interface is unusable for general network traffic. The disabled state does not send or receive any type of network traffic. An interface can be disabled by the administrator by using the shutdown command. The blocking state listens for BPDUs but does not forward them or generate any network traffic. This is the default interface state. An interface port will remain in blocking mode until the max timer expires, which is 20 seconds by default. The switch will choose a root or designated port and put it in the listening state. Ports to other switches will remain in the blocking state. The listening state both sends and receives BPDUs to verify if the switch is the root bridge. A listening port will remain in this state for the duration of the forward delay timer, which is by default 15 seconds. The learning state memorizes MAC addresses from the incoming network packets and builds a filter CAM table. The learning state still sends and receives BPDUs with other switches. The port remains in the learning state for the duration of the forward delay timer, which is 15 seconds by default. The forwarding state sends and receives all data packets on the port and maintains the CAM table. It takes about 30 or 50 seconds for an interface to reach the forwarding state. The spanning tree VLAN hello time modifies the hello timer value. The spanning tree VLAN max age command modifies the max age timer value. The spanning tree VLAN forward time command modifies the forward time timer value. We are looking at the terminal window of the access layer switch. The terminal windows show that one of the ports on the access layer switch is in blocking mode and the other is in forwarding mode. Let's shut down one of the links between the root switch and the backup switch and observe the different modes that the interface goes through before it is in forwarding mode. The link light between the two switches immediately turns red, showing that the link between the two switches have been disabled. Right now, we can see the interface going from the access layer switch to the backup switch is in blocking mode. Now it's going into the listening state. And now it's going into the learning state. And now it's in the forwarding state and it's ready to send and receive data packets. The switch goes through these various states in order to prevent the possibility of any switching loops forming. In a future video, we will look at a faster banding tree protocol called Rapid FTP. By default, when the switch is connected to a device, the switch uses spanning tree to verify that the new connection will not lead into a switching loop.
by putting its interfaces into the blocking, listening, learning, and forwarding states. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.